Well, you've all heard about it. The Barbie buzz is building ahead of the new movie's release tomorrow, but the iconic doll with her many careers and ever-changing style has always meant a lot to one woman here in Austin. Caxan's Will Dupree went to check out her vast collection of Barbies. This would be the Barbie room. <laughs> Diana Harris is surrounded by more than 400 Barbie dolls on display, and her full collection does not even fit in this room. We're maxed out at this point. Like, I can't get one more doll in here. <laughs> in total, she has more than 600 dolls, some dating back decades. Her collection began about 25 years ago, well before the current Barbie craze happening for the movie. She already bought a ticket to see that this weekend and picked up the latest dolls. These are all the fashions that you see Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling wear. Barbie brings out a lot of nostalgia for Harris, who's even found all the dolls she once had as a girl. Now she keeps most of them in their boxes so that their life in plastic really can be fantastic. Barbie today still has the philosophy she started with and she's grown into this diverse, um, all-encompassing that everyone can embrace, which I just think is wonderful. Will Dupree, KXAN News. Will, thank you so much. Diana told us she mostly focuses now on collecting dolls that are a part of collaborations with well-known fashion designers. So if you want a little bit more, you can check out photos from inside her Barbie room. Just click on this story right now on KXAN.com. And some may be wondering what all the hype is about surrounding the movie. Well, for some, it's not just about the film itself. It's about what Barbie represents. Barbie first made her debut in 1959. Since then, Mattel has created 176 dolls with nine different body types, 35 skin tones, and 94 hairstyles. Some Barbies have worn hijabs. Others have been described as hearing impaired or having Down syndrome. Barbie has been part of the cultural and political conversations for years, letting women see themselves represented. 